guess what tonight is. Friday? Well, yeah, but it's also space night. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. It's been so long since it happened. It's actually been two whole years. Really? It's felt longer. Hey, DSA. I'm Colby. And I'm Bella. Today, we'll be doing reports on Space Night, a STEM rocket experiment, Word of the Day, This Day in History, Lunch and Announcements, and TV Trivia. Now let's go to Sophia to learn more about Space Night. Now I have to go to Space Night. It sounds so cool. Space Night offers a ton of science and STEM workshops that you can participate in. Like the rocket experiment that a resident scientist is conducting. Let's go check it out. Whoosh! Wow, that experiment was out of this world. Yeah, quite literally. Hey Bella, hmm? did you know that the moon is actually a satellite? That's so cool. Wait, that reminds me of our word of the day. Hey, remember when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin went to the moon? Yeah, it was so cool. Wait, that reminds me of this day in history. You're right, let's go! Wow, those were some cool events. But I'm getting pretty hungry. Perfect, because now it's time to see what's for lunch. Hey Colby. What? Have you ever heard of STEM? Well, it sounds familiar, but I can't remember what it means. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Hey, speaking of mathematics, let's head over to TV Trivia. That's all we have for today, DSA. Hope your day is out of this world. And always remember, we love you. Space. Um, Mr. Hero, I, I forgot my SD card. We have everything, right? Yeah, I wouldn't want to end up like that kid. Or like Eddie, he ended up failing school because of a stupid SD card. Okay, let's go. Seriously, why is the headphone cable even a thing? I thought they were all attached. To be fair, it wasn't on the list. What do you think Mr. Hero will care? We have to try something to get in there and get the cable without being noticed. We could try distracting him with his kids. We could try distracting him with his kids? Oh, but he's got him on his phone background. What about sneaking through the back door of the studio? Security cameras and those guard dogs he has in the back room. Not to mention he's crazy enough to electrify the door. Coffee! We can get him coffee! But so much that he have to go and put it away! I don't know how he does it, but he's always got coffee. It's like sorcery. Well, I guess we just have to try and let him go in. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? We get them out of the kindergarten? Well, there's naps in recess. How bad can it be? <laughs> What do you want? Uh, we oh, forgot the headphone cable! Please don't get mad at us! It's okay, I already got it free. Wait, what? I thought... That I would blow up, maybe break something, demote you to kindergarten. That's all theatrics. It's posturing. You two, you're great students. Good luck. Guess where we are? The Lake Eva Park? Well, yeah. And? I don't know, it just looks like a park to me. <laughs> no, silly, it's the glitter, glisten, and snow. The what? The glitter, glisten, and snow. That's on the first Saturday of December, which allows families and children of all ages to do a ton of activities and enjoy a visit with Santa. Wait, Santa? Hey, DSA, I'm Colby. And I'm Bella. For today's show, we will be doing reports on Glitter, Glitter, and Snow, National Ugly Sweater Day, Word of the Day, This Day in History, TV Trivia, and Lunch. Now let's head over to Layla with her report on the Glitter, Glisten and Snow. Hey Bella, hmm? I really like your ugly sweater. Oh, thanks. Speaking of ugly sweaters, let's head over to Sophia on her report about National Ugly Sweater Day. Also, don't you just love the lights and how they glisten in the night? Well, yeah, I do. In fact, glisten is our word of the day. And also, you're using the word wrong. Wait, I am? 
Hey Bella, hmm? did you ever want to time travel in the past and find out what happened long ago? You bet I did. Actually, did you know that many stop, years ago? Stop. <laughs> what? Same for this day in history. Oh, whoops. Wow, I never knew that the Boston Tea Party actually happened on this day many years ago. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now let's head over to Trent for the TV trivia. Oh, all this talk about Kudo is making me so hungry. Same here. Now let's have a lunch announcement. Have a magical day, DSA. And, and always remember, we love you. Merry Christmas. Ciao. Bonjour. That's French. And that's Italian. But we're making cannolis. From France. We're making Italian cannolis. You're Italian. You should know this. Oh yeah, you're right. I am Italian. Anyways, hey DSA, I'm Colby. And I'm Bella. And today we're making Italian cannolis. To make these tasty cannolis, you need pre-made cannoli shells, two cups of ricotta cheese, a cheesecloth, three-fourth cup chocolate chips, one cup powdered sugar, one half teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of cinnamon. The first thing you want to do is get your bowl and put your strainer in it. Then get your cheesecloth. Put your ricotta inside and leave it in there for about two hours. Then you wait two more hours. You want to drain out that water. Then you want to put it in a clean bowl. Then you want to add your chocolate chips. Yummy. Then you want to put vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar. Now mix. Then put it in your piping bags. Put the cannoli shells on a tray and then fill them. Then you get a bowl of chocolate chips and sprinkles, if you want it. And then put them on your cannolis. Now add powdered sugar. Then, then you're done. That's not good. That's German. Good. And now that's Spanish. <laughs> I'm Bella. And I'm Colby. Reporting for Create TV. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Most people know this song. It's very catchy. It's from The Sound of Music, which is the musical we're doing here at DSA. Hey DSA, I'm Louisa. No, I'm Louisa. Well actually, I'm Colby. And I'm Bella. Me and Colby are doubles, which means we both play the same character, but are in different casts. Our character Louisa has a tomboyish personality and also likes to pull a ton of pranks and tricks. Oh, hey, since we're talking about the sound of music, let's head over to one of our rehearsals. Well, our dress rehearsals don't start until April, so we'll just show you one of our working rehearsals. <laughs> Make sure you go see the shows. They're happening at the last Friday and Saturday of April and the first Friday and Saturday of May. The show times are 7 p.m. for the night performances and 2 p.m. for the matinee. Well, it was nice working with you, Louisa. You too, Louisa. That's all we got for now, DSA. But we do have to say one more thing. So, so long, farewell, I'll be to say goodbye.